Hello, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted anything for a while, but with this new release of Angular, I can't resist the urge to share my insights with you. In this short video, we'll have a look at a new website uh, while discussing the new features brought by Angular version 17. The new website has been designed to appeal to both beginners and long-time users of Angular. So let's navigate directly to some of the sections on this website while discussing the novelties brought by this new release. So one of the big uh, features of this release is the declarative control flow syntax. And if you're a first-time user of Angular, you don't have to worry about how it was before because this new syntax uh, is easier for readability as it makes the clear difference between HTML attribute and the control flow handled directly by the framework. There is no section uh, with the title control flow, but there is a more explicit and clear section entitled conditional and loops. So there we find a new conditional and loop syntax. And if you uh, want to migrate your existing project to use this new declarative control flow syntax, uh, there is a, migra a schematic uh, to help for that. Another feature of this new release is the deferrable views. It's also a game changer. This feature empowers developers to delay the creation of views until they are actually needed. And this technique is particularly beneficial for applications with extensive conditional rendering. By selectively creating views based on the current state of the application, performance is significantly optimized especially for complex layout or data-heavy components. What is cool with this new concept is its simplicity. So directly in the template, we can do amazing stuff. We can load component uh, when they are in the viewport. We can load component after a certain timer to avoid some flickering effect. And we can do amazing uh, other stuff too. This video will not be feature complete if it does not highlight all the improvements also done for server side rendering and static side generation. And, uh, and this is also possible thanks to this new concept uh, of deferrable views. Signals also have graduated from developer preview. And what does it mean for a debate signal versus observable? I don't think that observables will go away uh, they, they solve different problems. I like to think about signals as the building data structure of a component. A component data or state is encapsulated as a signal, but that data may come to the component itself as an observable. For me, signal is for the front of the front end and observable is for the back of the front end. So the closer you get to the component direct state, the more signals you use and the further you get away, you can use whatever you want, and there you can find observables. So there are many more with this new release, and I invite you to have a look at the blog post associated with this release. But for me, apart from all these new concepts brought by the release, what I like the most also is the playground. It allows to try out stuff directly on the official website without having to navigate back and forth with stack blades which is great, by the way, uh, the application, uh, the website of uh, Stack StackBlades. But having everything at the same place is way cooler. So let's try it out. So suppose I want to play around with this new syntax of conditional flow. So here we go. It feels good to be part of this community uh, and to see all this improvement of Angular over, over the years. So long live Angular. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, but stay tuned, I'll be back very, very soon.